Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I love these weekly vlogs. I don't know, it just, it feels like we're connected and we know what's going on. My robe is like a half open, oh shit. Start of another weekly vlog i had a nice weekend i really love this routine of like vlogging monday to friday taking the weekend off revitalizing my life that's not the right word i just feel like rejuvenated rested <laughs> by the monday morning anyway so i am all the glam i did like a really soft neutral glam i used my tartlet palette i'm wearing zuma from color pop on the lip I just drank this and I think I'm obsessed with it. At my old job, we used to sell these. They're called Bai, B-A-I. Um, this is the antioxidant infusion Kula Watermelon. Um, I think it has like 10 calories per bottle, but it's got like antioxidants and I think there's gotta be some caffeine in here because I'm feeling alive. Nature's caffeine. Oh, it's got like green tea, all that stuff. Anyway, I really like it. I picked it up at Walmart last night. Um, Alan and I went to Walmart last night and we were there for so long. That's why I just like love this relationship because we just pondered Walmart for a really long time and just had a great time doing it. Um, so what else did I do this last weekend? What did I do? Alan and I go on date night like a couple times a month. We went out to dinner on Saturday night. Um, <laughs> Side note, I had the most embarrassing moment at the restaurant. You guys know when you like swallow the wrong way or like you like kind of like inhale and accidentally like a tiny piece of food will like lodge into your throat. So I had this spicy chicken and I accidentally like inhaled or like it was swallowed the wrong way or something, but it was so spicy and it like went, it just wouldn't stop. It was like, you know when you can't stop coughing? It was that high pitch, like can't stop coughing cough. like like so loud I was so I was just mortified because you know everybody stares at you and it's like I'm okay I'm okay I just have to keep coughing until this stops um so that was fun and then yesterday on Sunday I had family dinner with my family um and then Alan and I just hung out we watched the iHeartRadio music awards last night I love Cardi B <laughs> like her personality is so radiant and just like funny and bubbly and like so genuine I don't know, she's just really funny, I love her. Uh, so yeah, today I'm gonna be going to have lunch with my old coworker. Uh, back when I worked at Max, she was actually my boss and we always felt really, really close. Like we've always had this really solid connection. Like we're both so similar and we both have the same like INFJ personality and we just love each other. So we haven't seen each other in a really long time so we're gonna get lunch and chat. She's actually opening up a clothing boutique and I will be posting on my Instagram when she opens so I can like, share it because it's an amazing plus size boutique like the clothes are so cute and so trendy so i'll be sure to share that with you guys when it's up and um later today if gabby has time i need her to help me shoot something and she's always really really sweet and helps me shoot um and she's really like patient and doesn't mind taking my picture um but i'm shooting like a really fun project this week it's going to be going up on thursday night so you will have already seen it so i can talk about it i forgot this is going up on sunday um on sunday this will be up so i can tell you kelly and i are going to be recreating each other's instagram like copying each other's instagram for a week or something that really popular trend um, so it's gonna be really fun. I've already picked out. I've done a couple of her photos already and I'm kind of like doing the video vlog style showing the behind the scenes, but I have to Shoot the other three photos. I think I have like the location and, and outfits figured out But I need someone to obviously shoot it for me. My mom did some yesterday um, And Alan's at work. So Gabby is super good friend award if you're wondering what I'm wearing for lashes as well I'm wearing these faux mink um, Vegas nay eyelore platinum princess uh, but they're like super wispy and full and big and I love them. So I'm gonna go dry my hair. I've been trying to let it just air dry, but I don't think I have enough time to let it air dry all the way. I feel like I have a lot to say right now. I'm also on day five of my Accutane and all is well so far. I'll chat a little bit about that more later though because I gotta go dry my hair. Okay, so I did my hair. I am really excited I'm going to get it done at the end of this week so you guys will see that i want to get like a nice cut like and really get a nice like blunt cut where it's kind of like got those long choppy layers but the bottom is blunt so when you like style it like this it's kind of got that line i don't know i really like that and i think it looks really pretty straightened as well 
it's kind of different too because for a second I like really wanted my hair extensions back just because I've been getting so bored and I just really loved the long hair but I am kind of just enjoying the medium length and I think I'm just gonna grow it out um it's so funny though we're getting um another snowstorm tonight and I think it's gonna go tonight all day tomorrow so maybe Alan will have the day off uh but my one neighbor there's this thing he does and he moves his car to the visitor spots and I don't get why <laughs> because when we have to move our cars like what to plow because they come and plow uh, they always call and they tell us when they're gonna come and we all have to move anyway But it's like the spot his spot and the visitor spot are like so close to each other. It's like I don't quite understand Why he goes to the visitor spot? Like either way you have to move your car, so I don't know. I also burned my finger. Can you see how red that is? It's probably not even showing on camera, but it freaking burns so bad I hit it on my curling wand and I almost I don't know if it's too early to say this, but I know that Accutane makes your skin more sensitive. It feels like it's on fire. <laughs> and I've been running it under cold water on and off. But it fucking burns. It's burning so bad. Like, it just feels like it's flaming. Uh, anyway, I have a big pile of clothing there. I did a big order from ASOS for you guys. Because um, I wanted to vamp up my spring wardrobe like I've been doing. Um, so I'm going to do a haul for you guys. So I'm going to film that. My top is from um, Loft and... Then I'm gonna go have lunch with my friend. Okay, I have no idea how this looks in the car right now because I have the camera up pretty high so you cannot flip up, you. I cannot flip up the viewfinder. I don't know if I'm in focus. I don't know if this even looks good, huh, but we're trying it. So, it is now five o'clock. I'm in a lot of traffic. I just had lunch with, <laughs> I just burped. There's a guy on a porch staring at me. I'm looking at you. We're making eye contact just so you can understand that I know that you're looking at me. Do you ever do that? Like when someone's looking at you, just stare into th their soul because you want them to know that like I acknowledge you looking at me, sir. Sir! <laughs> okay, I'm driving by him and we're past. So I just had lunch with my old friend. I mean, we're still friends, but like I've known her for um, a while now. We used to work at Mac together. Like I said, she was my boss and I love her so much. We've always had this really strong connection um, I remember we used to always sit in the back room and like have really deep talks like I would always tell her What was going on in my life and she would talk to me too. We both have the INFJ like specific same personality too So I think we're very just like much the same person um, So anyway, we just had a really long lunch and we talked for a really long time um, And caught up. I haven't seen her since her wedding which was last year um, and We were talking about how she's gonna like lend me one of her um her rehearsal dinner dress for when I get married one day because it was so gorgeous and we're both like around the same size so it was just kind of perfect she's like it can be your something borrowed and it was so sweet so there's a weird traffic cone in the road here um so we just had a really good time it was so nice to catch up and I'm glad that you guys said in the last vlog that this car camera was okay that it wasn't too shaky it looks really shaky um, as I'm sitting here like the camera is going like this so hopefully hopefully it's not too much <laughs> um, if it is then you won't be watching this and I will cut the clip out and this road is wicked bumpy oh my goodness I'm in a town that I don't really go to very often so I have my GPS on if you see me looking down here and there so anyway, I think I'm gonna head home. Earlier today, I filmed a try-on haul of some pieces I got from ASOS. Janelle actually, her name's Janelle, she actually got me into ASOS way back in the day when we first started working together. Uh, Cause we were always, oh, Janelle and I would actually exchange um, bags of clothing. <laughs> um, because we were like the same size so we would give each other like a bag of clothes of stuff that we were like kind of bored of and we would like give them back like a month later it was kind of fun we had a lot of fun so i'm driving home i'm gonna edit the video that i filmed i'm gonna make it dinner for me and alan i think i'm gonna make the rest of that asparagus from last week I actually really liked that. I, it's so funny. I never, I'm just like chatting a lot right now. Sorry. I never thought when I was younger that I would actually like any sort of vegetable. Um, I was always like a fruit person, but you know, when you're a kid, you don't really like vegetables, but the older I get, 
I actually do like vegetables now. And if you don't like vegetables, try eating them in like a fun way, which is what I have been doing. So I make my roasted Brussels sprouts with the balsamic vinaigrette and I roast them in the oven and they get like a nice crispy outer shell and soft on the inside. Ooh, that was a big bump. And they get really, really good. I make my buffalo cauliflower roasted in the oven with buffalo sauce. Um, I like to pan sear my asparagus with like lemon and salt and pepper. Uh, what else do I like? Broccoli with Parmesan cheese is so good. I don't know. I have slowly started to incorporate more vegetables and I actually like them now. So that's cool. I feel like I know where I am. Maybe I don't. <laughs> like it looks so familiar. Wouldn't it be funny if I wasn't recording right now? <laughs> because I've been talking for such a long time. Anyway, I have a headache. I am not gonna lie to you, I've had a headache since I started my Accutane. Um, she told me, uh, my dermatologist told me only to call her if I had a headache so bad, quote unquote, that I would miss my birthday party. That's how she put it. I've just had like a mild, very dull headache since I started like very very dull like and it doesn't it's not like annoying or like super painful but it's just kind of a there um I've also felt kind of like drowsy since I started the Accutane as well um like kind of like you know you're kind of like in a fog kind of just like lethargic and a little bit foggy brained I've read that's normal until your body can adjust to it uh, the first couple days my body really ached <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much it and th that all sounds really really like bad like it's like a lot but it's it's honestly not like the worst it's just what I have noticed where am I oh it took me some weird back way to get to this main road oh because it's rush hour okay thank you Siri for taking me a good way is this a two-way street or one way Anyway, those are like the side effects I've had thus far. Where are you going? Are you turning in here? Are you doing a U-turn on this busy ass street with your big ass truck? Girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's, he's mad at me because he's like, go, go. I'm like, well, I can't see you because your windows are dented. Um, so that's just like what I've been feeling so far. Uh, my body aches have definitely been getting better. I am taking fish oil every single day to get rid of that to help it. Um, the first couple days I really had like a lot of like back pain and um, like shoulder pain, like just like that ache, almost like the feeling when you have like a fever, that kind of ache within your bones. Um, is this the one? I think this is the highway I take. So yeah. I think my body is definitely already starting to adjust though, but it's only been five days. <laughs> but it is kind of crazy that I felt those side effects right away. I haven't been getting dry yet. I think that's gonna probably take a little bit more time. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been feeling since I started. All right, anyway, I am now getting on the highway. <laughs> now you're finally like not shaking and I'm done talking. I should have waited till I got on the highway, but I didn't, so. Anyway, I guess that's that. So I'm gonna go home and I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anymore today. Tomorrow we're getting that snowstorm. I think I mentioned that earlier in the vlog. Um, I think we're gonna get like 10 to 13 inches more. And you guys know last week we got like over a foot. So, <laughs> okay winter, okay. I thought it was over. It's not. <laughs> I cannot believe we're gonna get so much snow again. Oh, we're hitting a lot of traffic. This is rush hour, people. This is rush hour. Props to any of you guys who work a nine to five and sit in rush hour traffic in the morning and at night. I don't know how you do it. I give you credit. I'm not that patient. I guess you could listen to podcasts. I listen to podcasts pretty much only. I know I talk about this a lot, but I would love if you could tweet me your recommendations for podcasts uh, because I love them. I just love podcasts. I listen to podcasts more than I listen to music. So let me know your favorites. Uh, if you haven't heard me talk about it before, I'll say it really fast because I say it all the time. But you guys always ask me, what are your favorite podcasts? So I listen to Jenna and Julian 
Shane Dawson's hasn't been on for a while, but it was one of my favorites. I listened to The Basement Yard with Joe Santagato. Um, I was listening to Psycho Babble. That hasn't been on with Tyler Oakley anymore. Um, Grace Helbig's Not Too Deep. And I'm definitely missing one. Oh, I listened to also to Jason Nash and David Dobrik's views. So, I'm definitely contemplating spending a dollar a month to listen to Trisha Paytas's sex topic with her mom. Good morning, it is the day of the blizzard. Blizzard number two. Look at it out here, guys. It's just crazy. So, Alan did get the day off from work though, which is a nice bonus. We're just making breakfast. Well, he's making breakfast. <laughs> and we're just gonna have a little snow day. Good morning. I woke up like this. Someone's gotta make that a meme. Okay, hello. Um, so it's the next day. I didn't vlog at all yesterday <laughs> because we just chilled and relaxed. Um, <laughs> Girl, why, why, why didn't you fix yourself before you came on here? It snowed so much yesterday. I am shook. Um, so yeah, I need to go clean my car. It's like completely covered. Um, I think we got like way over a foot. <laughs> so I'm gonna go clean off my car. Um, Alan cleaned his off last night because he had to go to work. It looks like everyone else is at work right now too. I'm such like that creepy neighbor who's like, hmm, everyone's at work. So yesterday I couldn't shoot any of my project. Um, I think I already told you guys that Kelly and I are doing like recreating each other's Instagrams. So I have to do it today and tomorrow because I have quite a bit to do. I have the photos planned, I have a couple done. Um, my cousins are gonna help me shoot one today and Gabby's gonna help me tomorrow. So I need to get that done. I'm really excited about it. I think the video is gonna be like super, super fun. It's officially been a week on Accutane and you know what's crazy? I know like you're not supposed to see results right away, um, but I have had no new acne since I started it. And like I had a lot of like bumps over here, like kind of like hard bumps that won't like pop or anything. Um, and they were like really going down, so um, I'm excited, I'm very excited. Yeah, I don't think you can really like, I don't think people know the severity like of my face. Um, like there's way more going on here than probably people see on camera. Um, like this cheek has been so bad. I'm so excited for this to continue to work, hopefully. Okay, so I just finished getting ready to shoot because Kelly is always wearing this iconic red lipstick so I'm wearing it today but if you can't tell there's one part of my look that's missing and it is brows so I got a PR package from the Balm I really love the Balm I've been buying them forever so they sent me some of their brow products so I thought I would try it out I have the blonde light brown and dark brown I kind of want to try to do like a little ombre brow because I never do those so we're gonna start off with the blonde. The packaging is so cute. They always have the cutest brows. Ferocious. Um, so the pencils look really good. They're like nice and skinny. I really like like a nice like skinny brow pencil. And then it has a spoolie on the other end. So I'm gonna just see how we like it, shall we? The blonde actually looks more like a taupey color, which is nice. So, I'm just going to start to put the blonde in the front. Color looks really good. Should I do one brow at a time? Or each step on each brow? Okay, blonde is on. Might have to go back to it. I don't know. So I'm going to grab the light brown. Oh my god, there was so much snow in my car. It was, I think, like a foot and a half of snow. Like, it was so, like, just so tall. And there was so much of it on the top. And I didn't want to, like, leave any of it on the top. Because then when you drive, you know, it, like, flies off the car. And I'm pretty sure it's, like, illegal. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty so far. I'm kind of loving this, like, ombre vibe so it took me like forever to clean my car off do we think the dark brown will be too dark on the ends or should we try it 
guess I could just try it. We're here, right? All right, I'm gonna grab the dark brown. Who uses three eyebrow pencils for one set of brows? I do. Okay, let's see if it's way too dark. I mean, I love a good dark brow anyway. dope it's kind of amazing so I've been using this to clean up my brows lately because I just like applying it like this even though it's not meant to do that it's the covergirl vitalist healthy concealer I just really like being able to brush it on straight from the product to my brow and I don't like it under my eyes so it actually works out I think it looks good don't you think it's not like super like too much. I feel like it's like a subtle ombre brow. Like it's very, very subtle. I have to finish this one. Uh, anyway, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. I don't know. Um, I've been just kind of keeping my relationship a little, a little bit more private this time around if you have noticed. I really love to still share stuff with me and Alan, but um, I do, I don't know, it's just been kind of nice to be a, a little less focused on like putting our relationship on camera. Like I'm still gonna, of course, vlog, you know, specific memories and stuff together, but I don't feel a, like a pressure to like put the camera on, on us all the time when we're together, you know? Uh, and I just like, it's almost nicer to just keep us private. Uh, and I hope that's okay. Oh my gosh, trying to get these brows to match. Ain't no joke. And I already got foundation on this shirt today, so it's a freaking day. I kind of want to get Chipotle. It's been a minute. Could really go for a burrito bowl. I'm not seeing my cousins until this afternoon. So, I might do that. Alan made us dinner last night. It was so good. All right, I think... I'm just glad I have a man who can cook because... I like cooking, and I actually have been cooking a lot more. Like, I really, you guys see on the vlog too, like, I do try. Um, but it is nice to know that, like, he can cook with ease and finesse, and he just is so, he's so good at, like, playing with recipes and, like, adding interesting ingredients to things, you know? Like, I just love that. I love these brow pencils. I think they're so good. Um, they're, like, the perfect amount of you know preciseness <laughs> without being like too soft you know when some brow pencils are so soft they're kind of like mushy um and we don't like that this is like the perfect amount of like between soft and firm it's perfect so i think the brows came out good and i'll definitely be using these again uh hello it is later in the day now vlogging is kind of weird this week because i'm kind of doing like vlog style for the Kelly video, which you will have seen, uh, but like I'm kind of like mixing up um, the footage because it's like all vlog style. <laughs> so it's been a little tricky, but I just wanna make sure I still give you guys enough content for today when you're watching on Sunday. So uh, what am I doing? I <laughs> It's two o'clock now. I'm going to pick up my cousins and they're gonna help me shoot like I told you. So one of Kelly's shots is, um, like right now I feel like, am I, should I be doing this for the Kelly video or should I be doing this for the vlog? Uh, I guess both. <laughs> so one of them is like at Target. I can tell it's at Target because Kelly and I both love Target so much. Uh, it's from like Valentine's Day. She's holding like a Valentine's Day in the, uh, a teddy bear in the Valentine's Day section. But I thought I could recreate that with like an Easter spin, like an Easter, um, you know stuffed animal in the Easter section kind of do it like that uh, so it looks similar and it's all kind of bright colors so that's what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna have my cousins help me I told them I'd get them some dinner as well at the mall um, make a little evening of it because one of my cousins is home on her school vacation break from college so I thought we could hang out for a bit because I really love my cousins they are like my sisters um, we've always been really really close so, and for Kelly's shot, she has on a feminist hat, but it has feminist written underneath. But I have a feminist hat that says feminist up here. So I was like, yes, 
at least I have a hat that says feminist because I tried to use all materials I had at home I did order one pair of like really skinny sunglasses for Kelly's shoot because she like loves the skinny sunglasses um, and I'm, I personally am not a big fan just because like uh, I wear I, don't, I barely ever wear sunglasses and if I do I want them to be huge so I don't see the sun at all uh, but I ordered a pair off of Amazon of skinny white sunglasses to match the photo I'm gonna be doing tomorrow and I don't know where we're gonna shoot it tomorrow yet because it's got this really I love this photo because like she has on you know the sunglasses and like this really cool bright background I know one cool wall I mean she's in New York so her photos were really hard to choose from uh, because they're so they're all amazing and they're all really really cool like the coolest backgrounds and I'm not saying where I live is not necessarily cool but uh, <laughs> it's not exactly there's not as many option and like I don't know I'm just I really want to do it right so I'm trying to find like colorful walls I wonder if I could google like colorful photography walls in my city I could go into Boston but um, the snowstorm snowstorms because <laughs> there's been two I've kind of messed up my shooting schedule for this I, I really still want to do it right I also need to pick up purple because she's wearing purple in tomorrow's video so this last photo that I'm doing tomorrow I actually have like kind of a lot not a lot to get for it but I want to really recreate it properly so I'm gonna make sure I have the sunglasses and have the outfit and have the right background so yeah anyway I guess that's all I'm really frustrated I don't know if this is a Kia thing I think it's a Kia thing for my car uh, so I have a Kia and I've had this problem forever for like the last like four or five months maybe when the weather started to get cooler my low tire pressure light comes on all the time and it's like actually so annoying I never had this problem with my old Toyota oh my god there's no traffic on this road oh never mind this traffic this road always has traffic here uh, I never had this problem with my old car but in this Kia um, the t low tire pressure light comes on all the time and I know it's because like the fluctuating temperatures or whatever in the winter time he told me but like it happens so frequently and I feel like I'm always filling up the tires I had an appointment with them like last month and they checked it and like none of them have a leak or anything I'm like I don't want to deal with this <laughs> like, every single winter just constantly having to refill them because I never had that problem before and I don't think any of my family members had that problem when I told them about it I don't know if it's a Kia thing. Let me know in the comments if it is. Um, but, all right, I'll catch up with you guys probably when we get to Target. Actually, I don't know if I'll vlog there because I'll be vlogging for the other video. I don't know, we'll see. I'm at Target with I mean, my cousins. It funny if it was true, but because it's not Sisterly true, love. It's not funny. Sisterly love. All right, we're walking to the location to take our picture. We grabbed these giant stuffed animals. They're only $15. Kind of want it. So we're in the Easter section. Look at this giant eared bunny. Ooh, Swedish fish. This is where I live. Right here. Ooh, yeah. Good morning. Happy Thursday. This whole week I have been thrown off. I feel like I thought today was Friday. I've just been so confused. Um, so anyway. Good morning, I am not looking great because I wanted to show you guys a package that I just got because I'm so excited. I almost bought this and I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so thankful that Urban Decay sent me this in PR. This palette looks so good. I literally almost bought it like two days ago. Um, so I wanted to show you guys it. It's their new Back Talk palette. It's so Alex, like the colors are so me. If you're anything like me, get ready. So like these colors are actually perfect. I'm trying to <laughs> do a little unboxing for you. So it's like a double palette in one. Um, so as you can see, it like opens up. That looks better, okay. Um, okay, so when you open it up like this, in the middle there's mirrors on each side. So like you have a mirror on this side, flip it over, you have one on this side. So this side has blush. The blushes are perfect. So it's got like a rosy color, a little bit more of like a lavender rose, peach, uh, a little bit more neutral. Like it's just so my color palette. And then this side has the same kind of color scheme for eyeshadows. Oh, it's so beautiful. Guys, 
This palette is perfect for on the go. I don't think I've ever seen any brand do something like this. I am obsessed. And it's so like heavy and like sturdy and good quality. Like the mirror is so thick and heavy and it's all just magnetic. I can't wait to film with this. I'm gonna do a special tutorial with this because I'm obsessed with it. Like I literally would spend like all my money on this. Like it has the perfect variety of like shimmers and mattes. Oh, it's like all this dusty rose and mauve. Oh. And the mirror can come out too, which is nice. It's magnetic, so you can take it out. The colors look so pigmented and gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Um, and then they also sent me one of their Vice lipsticks to go with it. And it's also called Back Talk. So it must be part of the collection. I really love the Vice lipsticks. I've been wearing them a lot lately. They're so creamy and comfortable. Ooh. It's perfect. She's perfect. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to wear this when I do my tutorial and they also sent some I think these are the back talk shades I think these are these lip liners or eyeliners these are all eye pencils and they're all kind of like similar shades to in the palette so that's perfect and then I got another PR package from them in a separate box so this is the hi-fi shine ultra <laughs> cushion lip gloss and these are all the shades Ooh, I see some fun holographic shades here this looks gorgeous okay so this is what the packaging looks like it's amazing um, and I'll be sure to save some of these for the giveaway I'm gonna be doing soon I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my Instagram so make sure you're following me there Ooh, I love this how do you open it <laughs> me like doesn't know how to <laughs> open anything that was difficult <laughs> okay um, ooh wait is this a mirror no, never mind. Okay. All right. So, are these the glosses down here? They look look how interesting they look. They look like flat. <laughs> oh, and this is so cute. Like it's like a little um <laughs> radio or whatever, cassette player. Guys, take a minute and look at how stunning these colors are. Ooh, goodness. I'm like immediately drawn to like the shade, the shade this shade <laughs> all the classic Alex colors but like look at this one this is like shimmery mustard look at this packaging this packaging is sick it's so like futuristic looking um ooh, and the holographic one I think this was candy flip candy flip look at the holographic one purple and blue oh, this packaging is everything um thank you so much urban decay i am spoiled i know i'm so blessed to be getting these packages and i will definitely be sharing with you guys because it's all thanks to you that i even have this job so whenever i get pr packages i save a lot of it you know for you guys for giveaways because I, I just want to give back and i'm really thankful to have this job uh, so I will be doing a tutorial with those products soon. I'm obsessed with that palette. It's amazing um, And for the rest of the day, I'm gonna go get ready and I have to shoot the intro for the Kelly video today It's going up tonight then Gabby and I are gonna go shoot the last look and I'm gonna get it in by the skin of my teeth So I'm gonna go get ready and then I'll catch up with you. Okay, so I just finished getting ready just trying to get my look together for Kelly's. I'm just trying to do like the best I can for the look. This is not the lipstick she wore in it, but Gabby and I are gonna grab some lunch before we shoot. So I'm gonna bring, cause Kelly's wearing like really fun, bright purple lipstick in the shot we're doing today. So I'm gonna bring that with me because it's just gonna come off when I eat lunch. So I wanted to share with you kind of my pill routine every day that I've been doing since I started Accutane and I'm actually like feeling a little bit better. Um, now that we're like a week in, I think I'm adjusting a little bit. I, I do feel better. I felt so achy the first few days. Um, so in the morning, I take the Rainbow Light Women's One food-based vitamin. Uh, I love multivitamins. I make sure I always take them. Um, and I just recently bought this one maybe a couple of weeks ago on Amazon. So it's gluten-free and it's soy-free. So it's like food-based, has 150 tablets. I bought it on Amazon. I really like these. <laughs> it's actually really crazy. This is a little TMI, um, but I'm gonna tell you just it's kind of funny. My skin looks really pretty today. Not to like toot my own horn, but like, oh, I kind of have switched up my foundation routine. I'm like, it looks pretty good. Um, and I haven't really been breaking out so much, um, oddly enough, since I started my medicine, even though it doesn't work right away. Um, 
I have been setting with the new Bare Minerals powder that I got, and I set instead of like a translucent, and I feel like it makes my skin look a little bit more luminous, but I also have been incorporating like hydrating products into my skincare too, so that's, I don't know, looks nice. But the funny part, I know this is kind of gross, but it's just funny. The funny part about these vitamins is it has um, a specific vitamin in it that makes your urine like bright yellow, like neon yellow. I looked it up. I can't remember which one it was. I think it's B3, maybe D3. I don't know, but there's... No, riboflavin. That's what it was. Riboflavin? 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 I don't know how to say it, but I'm pretty sure I googled it. And the first day I took this, I had gone to go to the bathroom and I looked... And my pee was neon and I was like, oh my god, am I dehydrated? <laughs> and I ended up Googling it and it's like, it happens every day after I take this. It makes my pee, I'm sorry, I know it's gross, but it makes it so like bright yellow Gatorade, brighter than that. It's crazy. It's like glow in the dark pee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gross, I know, sorry. Uh, but these are my multivitamins that I've been really liking for the last few weeks. Uh, but I think before that I just took the like Women's Alive from Target, but I don't know. So I have heard from absolutely everyone when you start Accutane that you should take fish oil, even start it before. Uh, and I actually think it really has helped the body aches. I know a lot of people commonly get that achiness in their body when they start Accutane, uh, and I think this has really, really helped. Uh, I'm not as achy as the first few days, which is nice. So I take two of these. So I take my multivitamin with breakfast. <laughs> I take the fish oil with my lunch, 100 milligrams of fish oil, and it has, it looks like this, burp less, I don't know. This stuff does make you gassy though. Like I find that after I take this, I burp a lot. Um, and then I take my, Accutane with dinner. So I kind of space everything out and I feel like it's a pretty solid routine. They said that the Accutane is best absorbed with dinner. You can take it anytime, but I mean, if they recommend dinner, then I'm gonna take it with dinner. So anyway, that's it for my pill routine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my hair done tomorrow. I'm excited. My roots are really grown out. I also had posted on my Insta story. I kind of, let me show you. I'm really liking the blunt cut look because I'm someone who's always gone choppy. Like I'm always like, give me like really frayed out ends, like really, really um, wispy. But I kind of, I'm liking the blunt look. So this is one of the pictures that I saw on Pinterest when I typed in blunt cut and I really just like how it looks and I just think it would be really pretty and a nice change and I mean if I hate it I can always have her add layers in so I think I'm gonna try going blunt tomorrow because it just it feels like I don't know I've had this look for so long I kind of would love for it to just be like straight across and it would look really pretty straight so I'm gonna do that I also want to go a bit blonder like my roots have definitely grown out and I like when she smudges the top because it makes your new growth and your hair roots and all that stuff look better when it grows in but I still feel like I'm very golden blonde and I'd really like to add some more like platinum vibes to it kind of like the after on this photo like I really like how that looks. Um, so I'm excited to go get my hair done tomorrow and I'll bring you guys along, of course. So uh, you're not gonna be able to see when Gabby and I shoot because it's gonna be in the Kelly video. So again, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. I feel like this week's vlog is so boring because that's all I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, bye. Guys, I am so excited. Um, I ordered flowers. Okay, let me just say, let me preface with this. I buy flowers for that little table every single week. And I usually get a good deal on them. I get them for like 12 bucks at Whole Foods. They like 20 stems of roses for $12, which is really good. But even when I cut them underwater and do all the little hacks to keep them alive, they never last more than like five days. You guys have probably seen this company on Instagram all the time. It's the flowers, the roses that last for a year. So I decided I wanted to try them and see if this little Instagram in real life situation would be good. Um, the flowers were not cheap. I mean, they're roses that last for a year. So I figured they would be expensive, but I'm so excited to see how they look. I ordered um, the big round box. Um, I got it in blush and then I got white roses. So I just think it will look gorgeous and then I don't have to keep buying flowers um, every single week because I just love having fresh flowers in the house. Um, these aren't, I mean, they're real roses. They're not like fresh, but they're real roses and I think it's so cool that they last for a year. So I thought we could unbox it together. Oh my God, it's huge. Look at all these flowers. 
and on the box it says like avoid cold and humid environments and it's like freezing outside okay oh gosh so excited if i can get this out of the box unpacking instructions it's venus eflau fleur fleur you will notice four holes at the top of the cardboard placeholder these holes can be used for gripping okay <laughs> gently remove the cardboard this requires some patience if another person is present oh this the fact that they have directions an entire page of directions on getting it out of the box tells me everything all right <laughs> i'm alone like most of my time so okay i see i see what they're doing oh my god it's oh my god this packaging is crazy like look at this I mean, I appreciate it because it's not like it's cheap and, huh? Okay, let's see what's in here. A little business card. Oh, caring for them. A little note card. So let's see what the care instructions say. Do not water the roses in big bold letters. They last a year longer if you follow these suggestions. Do not water. If dust collects, lightly dust them away. Lightly swift away the dust. Keep them in a 60 to 70 degree temperature. Do not place anything on top of the roses. Do not remove them from their box. Avoid direct contact in sunlight. I can do that. I will be so shocked if these actually last for a whole year. Oh my God, they're stunning though. This is so difficult. Okay, my lord. Oh my god, there's this, I'm like not even okay right now. I'm not okay. <gasps> this is, it's a blush suede box. <gasps> oh, it smells good. No, these smell like fresh flowers. I'm so confused on how they do this. Oh my god. I thought the big one would, would not be this huge. Like it's like way bigger than my head. It's ginormous. It's stunning. Look at how gorgeous this is. I can't even fathom. This is the size. It's like huge. I guess I could have gotten the small one, but I wanted it to be like big enough to fit um, in the center of my little circle table. So like I said, blush suede on the outside. The gold writing and I chose the pure white that was the shade of the roses there was a few different kinds um, and it has a little like satchel my god I am not even okay this is gorgeous this is Instagram in real life this is a moment I like have seen this online so many times and like to see it in real life is just like wild it's stunning I don't even know how many roses are here I just know it was the big box oh my goodness I'm obsessed. I'm not okay. Okay, let's go put them where I planned to put them. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's the perfect ginormous arrangement. I'm not okay. Definitely gonna got the small one. I'll say it again. But it looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. I know, I can't shut up. I just love how they look. <laughs> I love my fresh roses. They smell so good. I wonder if that's gonna last. Probably not. I also can't understand how they last so long. What did you do to them? What did you do? Super I don't know weird. if they can see you though, so why don't you put it on you? Can they still think they can see you? Um, I can't see in the reflection here. I know. <laughs> I don't know because the mirror's in the way. If we both lean in the center, we can be seen now. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Um, who would we forget? Who? Well, we're using fake names. What does it start with? The real name. Oh, yeah. That was a brief moment of one time I have true regrets in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the only Well, I mean, I don't know. That's the one you like regret the most. <laughs> so there was a person named Tim. No, I don't want to use that name. Why? What's wrong with that name? We don't know. We don't know yet what's going on with that. With some, what? I'll explain later. We're using a different name. All right, we're back. I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> I mixed something up. So Tom, 
Gabby had. <laughs> this is how complicated my life is. No, it really. Yeah, it <laughs> is. No, it's. Yeah. So, Tom. Um, Tom. So, I don't know if you guys know. I so I'm a I'm a bartender mm -hmm. and a waitress at a local place in the area, and I decided. So I it was a really really busy Friday night, and I was waitressing, and. Uh, usually when you're the first person that gets to leave like I worked like a really long shift like lunch and dinner and usually you're done by like 9 9 30 like I didn't finish until like almost midnight it was so busy but I had these two guys come in that were customers and one of the older waitresses that I work with said that we were talking a lot because you know I thought one of them was kind of cute they were wicked funny though that was more than anything like I had been such a long day and they were just making my neck they were making me laugh Mm -hmm. And we just kept talking about movies and shows and all that bunch, a bunch of stuff and it was hilarious. So then one of the older waitresses comes up to me and she like, well you could be done now and I'll cash them out if you guys want anything I'll take it over and they should buy you a drink. So then I stayed and that turned into, you know, leaving with one of my customers and the most regret experience of my life. Because <laughs> within 20 minutes of leaving, I was miserable because I made a terrible decision. You didn't like him. Because I wasn't attracted to this person at all. Yeah. Attention's fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that and it was a pretty much over since then. Nothing. It yeah. didn't linger, thankfully. It was really awkward when I saw the person once, though. We both looked at each other, looked up, did a half bow, looked at the floor. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was like you both knew, like, never again. Yep. Like, yeah. Well, Gabby just helped me shoot my last Kelly look. And now I gotta go home and edit it because it's going up tonight. Oh, there's solid updates that we should give from that podcast. We have to do an updated podcast. What are the solid updates? Elliot updates Ooh. and um, what was the other one's name we made up? Anthony. He's gone. Oh, Elliot right. re -emerged. Anthony's gone. Elliot reemerged. Yeah, yeah. We should do a podcast update. I'm sure they would love to see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll plan that soon so we can give the people what they need to know. Elliot's still a douche. <laughs> still, but- And we have more information about that with other people. Yes, Elliot's we do actually. trying it. Well, we'll save it for the podcast, coming soon. Good morning, happy Friday. I just finished doing my makeup and I am obsessed with how this came out. I'm pissed I didn't film a get ready with me. I don't know, some mornings I just sit down and like start my makeup and feel like venturing out and doing something a little bit different. And then I'm like, I probably should have filmed that. But you know what, if you like this enough, let me know in the comments or tweet me or something and I will recreate it. You guys know, I think I showed it in the vlog the other day. I got the Back Talk palette from Urban Decay and I am in love with it. I'm wearing both the blush and the eyeshadow colors on my lids. Um, I did like a matte look with it. It does have both matte and shimmer, like I showed you guys, but I love the way this came out. I just think it is so like romantic and rosy, and I am wearing the Back Talk lip color from Urban Decay as well. So, and the blush color I used is called Double Take, which is the second one in on your right, I think. <laughs> uh, anyway, I love how this look came out. So I just wanted to show you really quick and I am just wearing my Ardell Wispies and I've been using those brow pencils from The Balm as well, like every day and I'm obsessed. This was a really good week for makeup. Oh, and I also, I should have filmed this. I'm, I'm sorry, if you want me to recreate it, I 100% will. Um, I use the new Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealers as well. I used shade number 02 and 03, uh, and I really, really like them. They're really nice and creamy. I also ordered this foundation. I'm not wearing it today, but uh, everyone who has dry skin loves it. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So when my skin starts to get dry in a couple weeks, I'm gonna try that out. Um, oh, I didn't even update you on this. So I had mentioned in the, I don't remember which part of this vlog, but I think I mentioned that I was still having like headaches every day. Like really, really dull headaches, like not enough to worry my doctor. But I did call her and told her about that. So she's gonna actually have me switch to every other day because that will be the equivalent of 20 milligrams because it's a 40 milligram pill. She said some people start on the 20, so uh, she's thinking that will help the headaches like maybe it's just like too much to start um, and you know she's gonna keep an eye on it but 
it's nothing to worry about, but she told me to skip um, a couple nights and then go every other day. So I skipped the pill last night and I woke up with no headache today. So I think maybe it was just like a little bit a lot at once because my body was reacting to it. So I really hope that <laughs> when I start the pills back, probably like tomorrow night and do every other day that the headaches don't come back. Uh, because like my body aches were like finally starting to go away <laughs> So that's that anyway, uh, I think this vlog is gonna be really long I know some of you guys are were like sad that last week was only like a half an hour um, So I know some of you guys love them really long and some of you guys like them like shorter So I'm just gonna try to do like a variety and it's kind of just like Whatever happens during the week happens during the week some weeks there will be more footage and some weeks there won't uh, But I guess this week there was a lot of footage so I'm um, drinking this, I bought this at Walmart the other day and I ended up buying the 12 pack on Amazon because I'm obsessed. It's so good. So, like I told you guys, today's the day. It's Friday. I'm going in to get my hair done. My roots have grown out a lot. Um, and I just, I don't really, like, I like my color, but I really want to go a little bit brighter, especially in the front. Like, I want her to keep the back a little bit more like a grown out, smudged look. But then it will, I really want to, like, brighten up the front. Like, add in, like, some platinum pieces. I like the dimension I have, though. Like, I wouldn't change that. I just want to add in, like, a few more brighter pieces now that we're going into spring. And I am going to do that blunt haircut, so I really want it to just be, like super blunt. I think it will look really pretty and different. So anyway, enough of blabbering. <laughs> um, I had a late start today. I just had like a really chill morning. So I'm going to hit the road very soon and go get my hair done. Okay, so I'm about to hit the road. I always like to dress comfortable while I get my hair done because I'm always there for like four hours. So I'm just wearing leggings, my little black sneakers, and my black scarf, and my bomber jacket from Rue 21. So and a white t-shirt, so nice and comfortable, off we go. Okay, so no, I like <laughs> actually hate people. <laughs> Not all people. Uh, so I stopped at Walgreens, because uh, I needed to buy more Tylenol, and I was gonna stop it, they have an ATM in there, so I could get cash back, or cash, for my hair appointment tip. I got my Tylenol, and <laughs> oh my god, I just like literally can't. So I went to the ATM and I was withdrawing my money and you know they have like a little like mirror in the system like in front of the system kind of just so you could like see who's behind you and these three guys came up behind me it's like a really random ATM like there's never people there so I was <laughs> I always just get a little anxious because like you know when anyone comes up behind you at <laughs> an ATM so these three guys and I could like see them in that little like kind of reflection portion of the ATM and they're like just first of all they're way too close to me like personal space bubble I'm like I was just like immediately uncomfortable um, like you guys are way too like just to so close um, and then they were like making jokes about how their pin number is 6969 and I'm like you guys are gross and the ATM was like kind of like in this corner too so I just felt very cornered like it wasn't like it was like an open space I just felt uncomfortable and like for you guys to be like joking like in my ear like literally get away from me get away from me anyway <laughs> be safe out there my sweet friends um be careful watch your surroundings Alan has taught me to be aware of your surroundings it's like <laughs> I love him it's like one of the things he always tells me be aware of your surroundings. Watch your surroundings. Because I always see him when he's like out and about. Um, I always see him kind of like looking around. Like he's like, I'm just checking my surroundings. I'm like, you're so careful. It's adorable. Also, I'm in, at a stoplight right now and there's 100% like the guy next to me. Like <laughs> we did that pull up thing where we like make eye contact and I'm like, yeah, I'm talking to a camera. It's totally fine. Don't you worry about it, Philip. Okay guys, hair is done. I just got to my mom's apartment. I am so obsessed with my hair. I did decide to do the blunt cut. I just think it's so different and fun. And we added some more brightness in the front, which I always love. And then she smudged the back, so it grows out nicely. It has kind of like a lived in look. So if you ever want like the same hair, um, we always go kind of like smudgy in the back and a little bit brighter in the front, but we took off like two inches because my ends were fried. So it's nice to kind of have like healthy, fresh hair. It just feels way better. And I think it looks really cool with the blunt bottom. I think it'll look pretty when we like curl it too. You know, when it's kind of like beachy waves, but it's like blunt on the bottom. So 
Uh, anyway, I'm here with my mom. She's just getting ready. We're gonna get dinner and then we're gonna watch The Bachelor Winter Games because that's what we do. I'm about to leave. We've literally just been watching The Bachelor and like, I'm sorry, we didn't vlog, but we hadn't I seen have, each no, other. I need to ask everyone's opinion though. Okay, I'm taking these glasses. I'm not really sure how I feel about these glasses. I know they're super stylish, the um, clear le the clear frames. I now. like it. Do you like them? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so here's part two to my thing. <laughs> so I haven't been to get my eyebrows waxed in forever, right? Uh -huh. And I can't really see in a mirror because you know, you've got your bifocals on and you gotta tilt your head up and once you tilt yeah, it they, up- Yeah, they totally like, know. The tweezers just <laughs> won't get in there. Like it's a shit show, it's just a shit show. Uh -huh. So what I did was just kind of like, put the tweezer underneath and like whatever I pulled out. Did you out, grab like a section of your real hair? No, but did you notice my eyebrows? Did you notice them at all? What about them? So you gave me this eyebrow stuff before. It's like mascara for your eyebrows. Oh, brow gel. Instead of using, yeah. it's tinted though. That's brow, brow gel. gel. That's brow gel? Brow gel can be tinted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like <laughs> brown mascara for your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. It's brown gel and it can be tinted. My name's Al and I know everything. Um, so anyway, that so I'm letting them kind of be like freestyle, and I thought that the tinted gel was like more freestyle than like the pencil. Uh huh. So anyway. Oh, did it get on all your little hairs underneath? No, it didn't at all. Like, so what's the story here? This, there's no story, bitch. <laughs> I'm like waiting. It's a question. The question is, what do you think? A, oh, they look good. Do you like it? B, do I need to go get them waxed or can I keep just like pulling this off in a natty little way? You've always been like, I need to get my eyebrows waxed and to me they always look perfect okay. when you say that. And do you think they're too dark? No. Or do you think my hair is too light? I kind of feel like my hair might be too light. I think right now everything looks perfect. You do? Yeah, but you oh need God, to do what so feels kind. more comfortable. But this is what'll happen. It's just like when I colored my hair before and I made it at that little darker shade. And you hated it. Yeah, and, and I like was yourself. like, oh, I don't feel like myself. I feel like this, this is, is your like, classic, like, my classic Nancy ultra -light color. Blonde. Yeah. I like it with the dark brows. I think the brows are the perfect shade right now. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got home. I am so sleepy. Um, so I'm gonna get ready for bed and go to sleep. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. Come back next week for more, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Ooh.